we see these earthquakes, these fires, these hurricanes, these floods. We see all of these things, but people still go about their lives, business as usual. We saw people lose their homes. Some people may have worked pretty much so long and lost their home, placed so much time and effort in paying off their home or making payments within a short time period, boom, everything is gone. Whether by a flood or by a fire. Some people are working two and three jobs, making extra money, thinking about buying new homes, new cars, new clothes, new jewelry, so on and so on. You see all of these natural disasters happening on this earth, but you can only think about, <laughs> my Lord, you are still going about this life business as usual with all the chaos that is happening now. What if I told you everything that you buy new everything that you buy new within a week someone is going to destroy what you buy new are you still going to buy those new things knowing that what you are going to buy is going to be destroyed many would say no With all the chaos that is happening on this earth, you see people losing their homes, but you are still working as everything is whatever. If you plan on going to heaven, don't you know that we get rewarded in heaven based upon what we do on earth for God. So what principles and the rules and regulations we followed on this earth. We don't get rewarded in heaven for buying new cars. We don't get rewarded in heaven for being in college for eight years or so. We don't get rewarded in heaven for spending all our time for our self-interest. We get rewarded in heaven for helping others by doing God's will by obeying him, by helping others come to God. Yet, <laughs> there are so many people focusing on how to better their life on earth when everything is going to be destroyed.
some people may be having plans on getting married, plans on having babies, plans on doing this and doing that. Not really thinking about God, not really thinking about that they are not thinking about how crazy times are now. But you are planning your life as if you are going to grow as if everything is going to stay the same. As if nothing is going to get more worse than this. What if your home gets destroyed? What if you lose everything? What if there is pestilence, famines, wars? What if all that stuff happens what good is your college education? <laughs> what good is those nice cars and nice homes? Everything is gone. You are working on this earth for the wrong things. You are working on this earth for the wrong things. If you are planning on going to heaven, which many say that they are, why aren't you helping your fellow man? There are so many poor people in this world. If you read your Bible, you are going to see that God wants us to help the poor. God wants us to teach people about God. God wants us to follow his rules and regulations. Don't you know that we are going to be rewarded based upon how long we read the Bible, how long we pray, how long and how often we fast, pray, and read the Bible. We get rewarded based upon everything, everything that we do for God. But you are focusing <laughs> on carnal, silly things. Of course, you have to eat, of course. You may have to work, or you have to work. Of course, you need a place to stay in, of course. But people, some people, are placing their entire focus on these things. When you are not going to be here long. We all are going to have to stand before God. What do you have to show for your life? What do you have to show for your life? God is not going to care how many cars you bought. God is not going to care how many homes you bought for yourself. The things that you have done for yourself, per se, he is not going to care about that. What have you done for God? What have you done for people? Don't you know if you get into heaven, you are going to see people there 
that have done great things for God. They are going to be rewarded greatly in heaven. When you see how things are done in heaven, you are going to wish that you would have done so much more on this earth. On this earth, if you want more things, of course, you can work more, make your own business, and stuff like that. But in heaven, it is not that way. What you receive in heaven is going to be based upon what you have done on this earth. What you receive in heaven is going to be based upon what you have done on this earth. Everyone is not going to receive the same things. We are not. Why? Because everyone does not work as hard for God as each other. We all don't do the same amount of work for God. So our rewards are not going to be the same. Some people are going to receive much more rewards than other people. On this earth, Many of us can't really live the lives that we really wanted to live. There are many evil people in this world. So, even if you work hard, you can only get so far because how this world is set. You have the opportunity to receive great things in heaven by doing simple things. This is your time. Why live really poor or whatever in this life than get to heaven and not get too many things? Why not do more for God? This is your time. You may complain that you have to work hard to get stuff. Okay. If you lack in this world, why not do for God and receive much in heaven if you go? Think about that. <sighs> Where is your focus? Let me say this. I had this friend and I believe she died in 2013. And she got really, really sick. So for about a month, I did not hear anything from her. And I believe she went to the hospital twice. Now the first time I believe she was at the hospital for a month. Then when she got home, I believe she called me. And she went to the hospital the second time and within the first week, she called me there too. And around that time period, I believe, I forget how long I was serving God then, but I would talk to her about God <laughs> for hours. <laughs> For hours and I was telling her to stop playing around change your life now and then 
she went home maybe after I forget a week or so and while she was at home I would talk to her about God as well over Skype or something like that and this one day I was talking to her and I believe I asked her did you repent did you give your life to God and she told me Kevin I am NOT there yet so I believe I spoke with her for I don't know like another two weeks I believe and I did not hear anything else from her. So I was thinking, hey, maybe she is tired of me talking to her about God all the time. Okay, fine. A month or two later, my mom told me, that she died that she died and all that came to my mind did she get into heaven or did she go to hell and I was thinking about all the time I told her or I talked with her about God. All the hours I spent <laughs> just speaking to her about God and my throat would get really, really sore, but I kept on going. And I was thinking, did she get into heaven? Did she go? Even while she was really sick, really sick, she was still focusing on sin. Even while she was really sick, she was still focusing on sin. She could have died the first time when she went to the hospital, but she went to the hospital two more times. I have no idea where she is at now. No idea, heaven or hell. And sometimes not much anymore, but back then, you know, I was crying and I wished that I would have been much more firm with her. But for about a week or more, I forget, I would talk to her about God for hours, like one, two, three hours sometimes. Like just talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and talking. I have no idea where she is really at. I pray that she is in heaven now, but who actually knows? You are only on this earth for a short time. Why would you sacrifice foolish, silly, sinful things? You are willing to sacrifice your afterlife for sin. You are willing to be sent to hell 
over this life that you are only going to be here for a short time period. Why? I have no idea where she is at now. I have no idea. The crazy thing about it, for that one or two weeks that I was talking to her about God and stuff, and where I did not hear anything else from her, my Lord. And what came to my mind, perhaps God was giving her a chance to get her life right, maybe by having me speak with her for two weeks or one or two weeks. Maybe I was her last chance. I don't know. But it was really shocking that she died within that short time period from me speaking to her. And even when I was talking to her for so long and she was telling me how bad things were with her, how sick she was and everything, she still told me, Kevin, I am not there yet. I am not there yet with changing my life. But you died. I pray that this makes sense. Our time on this earth is not promised. We are not promised more time on this earth. We are not. We have no idea when we are going to die. We have no idea. I pray that she is in heaven. I pray. Because, my Lord, I can't even imagine her going to hell. Can't even imagine that. That would break my heart really badly. So, if she is in hell, I don't want to know at all. So, I pray that this makes sense. God bless you.